Hi guys, this is Paige. I want to add on from the last video that I made because God wants me to talk more about women. And um, he gave me a verse, okay? Now this is Proverbs 11, 22. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. Okay. So the women that are online talking about their sexual exploits or whatever they're, you know, and there was even a, a, um, some videos about how to seduce a man, you know. Um, in God's eyes, God is saying in that verse that a beautiful woman that that behaves in that way is like a a jewel of gold in a pig snout. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Um because a pig is one of the filthiest animals, you know? I mean, God is love, you know, but he uses, in his word, he is very, I mean, when he says like, um, you know, when people return to their sin, it's like you're, you're a pig in the, the mire is, ha is how he describes it, you know, I mean, so if a woman is very beautiful, but on the inside, she's not of God, and she lacks discretion in the way that she she talks vulgar vulgarly about you know sexual things. She's she's um, vulgar, you know, in that way, um, and she doesn't have a holiness at all in her. It's like a pig with with a ring in its mouth in its snout, like a gold ring. Because the gold ring is it attracts attention, but it's really it's like a pig. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how God is describing it. And you know it's good for men to understand this. Cause if you're a man and you love beautiful women and, and all that stuff. And I'm sure many men love beautiful women. If you just focus on the beauty of the woman and the outward beauty. And, and you don't look at the inward beauty and you marry her. Over time, you'll regret your decision. And, and um... Paul Washer talked about this. He talked about... How you don't want to marry a woman just because she's beautiful and she's seductive. And how seductive women, women that are very seductive in dressing and, and um, try to cause attention, try to get attention by what they wear, very sensual and flirtatious, have a wicked heart. That's what he was saying. And it's true. Women that do that have a wicked heart. You know, some celebrities go around that are women basically bearing their entire bodies in selfies and stuff like that. Those women have a wicked heart. And I remember I, um, there was this photo shoot that one celebrity did and she, she was literally like half naked in, in the grass and do you know what I I got in the spirit? I got that it it was like a pig. Like that's how God. That's what God so, showed me, like a pig. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. This happened a while ago, but I was like, whoa. Because when I see women like that are behaving like that, like very, very sensual and all that, and and she was basically rolling around in like the in the grass and all this. Um, God put that on my heart like a pig. A pig in the mire. Um, godly women 
should be honored. They really should be. Um, and I'm not telling men they need to honor them and this and that. I'm just saying the truth. This is what God is putting on my heart. They really should be honored. A woman that fears the Lord should be praised. It says that in scripture. And you know why they should be praised? Because there's so few of them. There's so few of them that truly are holy and that truly love God. You know? That if a man finds a woman that truly loves God, he will understand what a treasure she is. You know? And that's not me saying that out of pride. I'm just saying the truth. Because it, like, when I looked at all those women on on um, YouTube and and how they were talking about, oh, how I lost my virginity, how this happened, this happened here, and this, this is how you do this and this and that, I was like, whoa, this is what the world is full of. Women like that are easy to come by. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Not that they don't have value. They do have value. Okay? Um, they have value because they were created by God. And they have a soul. But the way they're talked about in scripture is like as a pig. Whereas the woman, like a, a gold ring and a pig snout. You know? Like it looks beautiful, but it's really the wicked heart is there. And when God talks about women that, that are of God, he glorifies them. You know what I'm saying? A woman that is godly is a crown to her husband. She's a crown. And she glorifies her husband. If you're a godly woman and you're married, you are the glory of him. And, and uh, you're like his crown. Um... You're like a pearl. You're like precious. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it says how charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that, that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. You know? That's how God views it. And a meek and quiet spirit, a woman that's of a meek and quiet spirit, meek as in like humble, loving, loves God. You know what I'm saying? She's precious in the sight of God. So if you're a man and you're married and she's in the Lord, God gave you a treasure. You know, that's one of his treasures. God's, God's daughters are his treasures. You know, he treasures his daughters. And if he gave you a woman in the Lord, she is like a gift to you and, and a treasure. You know, women like we are, we have a lot of value to God. Um, and we are very rare in this world. You know what I'm saying? And women can become of God. Women that don't know God can become of God and become a, a woman of that's, that's worthy to be praised. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking down on women. I'm talking about the scripture and what it says. And um, how both men and women... It's good for them not to just marry for looks and, oh, this person's so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, men that do that and don't see the beauty inside will be sorely, you know, regretful of what they did. Um, if inside the heart is wicked, but on the outside she's beautiful. I mean, have you ever met a woman and, and she's so beautiful, you know? Uh, but inside, her heart's so wicked that it's just like, ooh, you know? 
because when someone's really beautiful from the inside, that that beauty will radiate no matter how, what they look like. Um, and all of my sisters in the Lord, I mean, that truly have the Holy Spirit and exude love, I mean, they radiate beauty. You know, that's how God sees them. It's beautiful. Women that, that are of God deserve to be praised. They really do. Um, because most women think it's okay to live in fornication, okay to live like a whore and all that stuff. And one woman even said that she became, when she became a whore, this and that. They have no shame about that, you know? That's a woman that's without discretion. And these women in the media that are worshipped by men and um, show their bodies and this and that, that's an abomination to God. It, men may think it's so great and all that stuff, but in the eyes of God, he's like, that's an abomination to him. But in the eyes of God, his daughters are, are his precious treasures, you know? And it would be good that men of God understand that so that they can treat women like a precious treasure. Because that's really what we are. I'm not saying this out of vanity. I'm not saying this out of pride I'm saying this because this is what God wants me to talk about you know yeah and that's beautiful that's honorable you know women that are in the Lord I mean I don't see how men couldn't respect them you know because they truly love God and they're trying to lead a holy life um, it's honorable. I mean, I, on, I respect men who truly love God and truly want to live a holy life and they follow through in their body. So I don't see why men wouldn't respect women who do the same. Yeah. So I hope that these women can be, you know, that they come to Christ that they become virtuous women um, because true virtuous women who are in Christ are rare, like rare diamonds, you know? I mean, it says in, in scripture that a virtuous woman, her price is far above rubies, far above rubies. You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. The more you learn about God and how he is, I mean, he's beautiful. He, he, he is so, he, he loves honor, you know. He really loves honor and holiness. And when you live a life towards God that's pleasing, it's like you're living a life of honor. And it's beautiful. It really is. Um, I prefer to live this way than the way I lived in the past. In shame, you know. Even though it was um, pleasurable, it was it, I, it was shameful. Yeah, so I just wanted to make that video about how women in the Lord should be praised and how men, I mean, how God views women. That talk about those things that don't have discretion, that have that are vulgar in that way. You know, they can come to Jesus and become become virtuous women, because all women in Christ are virtuous women. Um. Yeah. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.